What's going on guys and welcome back to another video on SRG. I'm excited because we have finally completed on this beauty. It's a three bed terrace house which we're going to be converting into a six bed all on suite studio HMO. Sick, crazy. I want to take you guys through and show you what we're going to be doing in the space. Let's go. All right guys, so we are in room one in this six bed HMO that we're gonna be converting. Now you guys can see it is a very large space. Now what we're gonna be doing in all the rooms is taking out the chimney breast. So you can see this is quite a big chimney breast that we're gonna be removing just to kind of create a bigger space and maximize the space as much as possible for tenants. Now we're also gonna be doing some small layout changes, i.e. we're gonna be moving that door and we're gonna be placing it on this side, which allows us to then put the bed tucked in that corner and gives the tenant a bit more move around space and space so they don't feel like they're cramped because the last thing I want for tenants that I put in this property is for them to feel like they're cramped in their room, there's not enough space for them to kind of move about freely. Now we're also going to be putting an ensuite overhead, which is going to be sectioned out a nice kind of 50p ensuite. And then overhead you will have a kitchen net which which allows the tenants to not have to use the shared kitchen if they don't want to and kind of have access to everything that they need here. We'll have a desk space here. Just again, everything that they need is in the comfort of their own space and by having kitchenettes en suites, it's again, maximizing the opportunity for the tenant, maximizing the rest that we can demand in this area as well. So yeah, that's room one. Let's head through and we'll take you to room two. So if we come through, what we're going to be doing, I'll tell you in this bit, because basically the room in here wasn't as big as we needed it to be. So what we're going to be doing is knocking down a bit of this wall to kind of create an extra passageway. So if you come through here, so this is a room at the moment, but if you come in, what we're going to be doing is putting a stud wall up here to kind of create a passageway into the kitchen. Now this is all going to become another room again. We're going to be knocking through this chimney breast and then we're also going to be doing a three meter extension out the back. So if you come around here, you can kind of see that area there is going to be knocked through to kind of create a three meter extension that's going to go on the outside. And then we're going to be putting kitchenettes in this room as well, just making sure that it's a nice spacious room for the tenants. Again, you guys can see the floor plan for this specific room. If you come through now, so again, that hallway is going to be following through all the way here into this area, which is going to be the shared kitchen space. Now, all of this, again, is going to be knocked through. These are really big ass chimney breasts. So once that's knocked through, that's going to create so much space in this room for six tenants to live, share, and kind of catch up together as well, which should be exciting. And, and then that's all done, and then we're going to block this wall off, create a doorway which is going to lead in to this room. Now this is going to be room three downstairs. As you can see, very high ceilings in this space, which is quite cool. Um, you might still keep the skylight in there, that's still being decided. This, we're going to get rid of this as well. Even though it's pretty cool, it's a bit old school. Um, I know some people might recognize this, but this has to go. We might sell it, I haven't decided yet, but it needs to get out of there because no tenant no modern tenant wants that in the house. But we'll come through, so all of this is gonna be one bedroom, guys. We'll come through here, and you can kind of see, here's the kind of extension of this specific part. Again, this side here is gonna be, right through here, bro, is where the ensuite's going to be. So if you can see the toilet, now I'm gonna create an ensuite for this room. It will also have its own little kitchenette area as well. Yeah, so the kitchenette, We'll go across here, ensuite there, bed down there, and yeah, this is all going to be happening. So if you just follow me, I'll take you guys upstairs and show you what we're doing upstairs. All 
Right, so we're upstairs now and we're going to be telling you what we're going to be doing in this room. So there's going to be a few layout changes happening in this room because basically this section here is going to be blocked off because we're going to be creating an ensuite for the room on the opposite side, which I'll show you later. Now, what we're also doing in this room, so if you come around, it's going to come around, bro. Then this section is going to be cut out. We're going to be putting a walkway through. So it's exciting this one, to be honest. So you follow me. So we put a walkway through here, which is going to lead in there. I'll let the camera just go in there and show you what's in there. So it's currently a bathroom which we are going to be converting to the passageway to kind of bring us through. So if you come through to this last section, so that's going to bring us into this space here. So this previously used to be a bedroom as well, but it's a bit of a small little box room. So we decided that we're going to convert this into, it's kind of on that living type area. So you will have the ensuite on this side. So you can see there's a chimney breast right here, which again is going to get knocked through because we don't want no chimney breaks, we want all flat walls, mm. that's how we like it baby. Yeah, no <laughs> And then on this side would be the nice kind of like kitchenette area. So it's, the reason why this specific room is so cool is because everything's sectioned off quite nicely. You kind of got your living area over there, you walk through into like your dining, shower, kind of like space here, you're like utility space in a sense. But yeah, let me show you over to the next room and then um, we can kind of see how things are going to be going in that room. So we are in room five. Now this room is probably the biggest room in the whole building. This is an 18.9 meter square room, which is just insane in terms of space. So what we're gonna be doing in this room, guys, is we are gonna be taking this out. So you can see at the moment, they've got a shower area here and then a separate toilet area. I really don't understand why they separated it like that, but we're gonna strip it out. There's a chimney breast behind this, as you guys can see, which we're gonna be taking out. Now, as I said previously, the room over there is gonna have the ensuite space here. So we're gonna be creating a doorway just over here, which goes into that ensuite in the other room, just making this room feel much bigger and not having to kind of jeopardize the space of this room, which means that it's gonna be more user-friendly for tenants. We're gonna have a spud wall put up here to kind of partition it off as well. Again, creating that similar space to the other room where it's sectioned off and it kind of looks much cooler. Now we would have a kitchen net running along here. You would have kind of like a workspace area here. We'll have the bed in that corner. So if you spin the camera around, bed in this corner, um, furniture all around the place, which is gonna be cool. And yeah, that's this room. Now the last room, of course, is the loft conversion. Unfortunately, I haven't got no stairs with me, so we can't go up to the loft conversion. But as that's progressing, I'll be sure to kind of give you guys updates on how it's going. But yeah, that is the project. I'm excited, we've got the keys today. The build work should start in the next week or so, so there's gonna be a lot happening. And of course, I'm gonna be documenting all the process as we go along. So I'm excited to take you guys on the journey. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And yeah, catch up with you guys in the next video. Peace.